Welcome back. Two weeks ago, I, I did a power rankings of goaltenders, and I saw a lot of, where's this guy? Where's that guy? Where's this guy? What's going on? These are invalid because. So, all right. All right, I've expanded it. Top 14, and I've got four that I'm going to go through first that are not on the list that we probably would have expected to be on the list at this time of year if we'd been making picks before the season started. So we'll start with those four. Um, Skinner ends up on this list for the Edmonton Oilers, and I'm going to go through the numbers. So the first column is goal saved above expected. In his case, it's negative 4.83 according to Evolving Hockey. Now, goal saved above expected per 60 minutes. I went to Money Puck for that, and some of the numbers don't match. Uh, but in this case, negative 0 0.7, negative 0.719, uh, and quality starts. So this is how often, when he starts a game, he has a save percentage of 900 or higher. And in Skinner's case, it's 36.4% of the time. So are we in understanding and in an understanding of what these numbers are? Good. All right. People fast forward to the end and I don't understand any of these numbers. All right. Well, <laughs> number three, Jordan Bennington. Uh, Bennington, now his overall number, negative 0 0.53. Interestingly enough, his number on <clears throat> on evolving hockey in total is zero negative zero point five three, but per sixty minutes, according to Money Puck, it's negative two negative point two eight two, meaning uh, they have more goals saved above expected against Bennington than does evolving hockey, uh, and quality starts forty five point five percent of the time. Now Blues fans will tell you it's the defense, it's not Bennington. Bennington's fantastic. Uh, Hofer's numbers, though, are, are slightly better than Bennington's, so we can get into a whole discussion some other time, but that's why Bennington doesn't end up on the list. Number two, and I saw plenty, plenty of people talking about this one. So, two weeks ago, I got a lot of, this guy just hates the cats, you know. He just, he hates the cats. All right, let's talk about Bobrovsky. Negative, 2.24, goal saved above expected, meaning... He is allowed 2.24 goals above expected. And in terms of per 60 minutes, it's 0 0.065 in the negative when you look at money puck. And quality starts 45.5% of the time. That is why Sergei Bobrovsky is not on the list. Power rankings of goaltenders is not about who won the Stanley Cup in June. It's about who's playing really well right now. Because otherwise that means Florida should just stay at number one all season until the playoffs. Which I understand that for Florida fans to be like, hey, you want to do the power rankings that way? We're fine with it. Uh, right, sure. But uh, no. So number one on this part of the list is Swayman. Now Swayman's numbers haven't been awful, but he does need to get better. So goal saved above expected, 0 0.11 on evolving hockey. But... He has a negative goal saved above expected on Money Puck. He is at negative 0 0.035 per 60 minutes. Quality starts, 50%. So 50% of the starts that he has made for the Boston Bruins have been of the quality variety. So we move into the top 14. These are the ones that do not qualify for said top 14. I will box them off. Like so. All right. This is all boxed off. These guys are not in. These are the, these are the four that I think I would be most likely to get asked about. They're right there. Let's get into the top 14. Number 14. I need the logo, don't I? Of course I do. Number 14 is the San Jose goaltender, and I'm as surprised as anybody else with that, but it's Blackwood. So Blackwood right now, his goal saved above expected, 4.51, again, from Evolving Hockey. Uh, per 60 minutes, 0 0.346 in the positive per 60 minutes. And quality starts weighed him down a bit on the overall uh, chart. 44.4% 40, of the time, he has a save percentage of 900 or higher. Which, yes, we can have the discussion about the defense in front of him. 
but Blackwood being on the list tells you that they're getting some pretty good goaltending right now. Number 13, very surprised that Vasilevsky is at this point number 13. So for Vasilevsky, goal saved above expected, 4.32. Uh, goal saved above expected per 60 minutes, 0 0.435. And in terms of quality starts, uh, you get a quality start right now from Vasilevsky 50% of the time. And this is the thing with this list. I, I do move guys around a little bit based on how I feel about how they're playing, but it really is just math. This is not like, oh, you know, it's THG's opinion. It's math. Um, I get the advanced stats. I look at the... You know, uh, advanced stats by the NHL standards is quality starts. And I go, you know what? These guys are playing pretty well. So Vasilevsky, 13th, not awful, but I, I, there's definitely room for improvement there. Number 12 is Capitals goaltender, who may very well be the backup. But of the two, Thompson's numbers are better than Lindgren's. Uh, Thompson, goal saved above expected currently. Let me find him. 4.05 which is lower than Vasilevsky or Blackwood. Uh, goal saved above expected per 60 minutes, 0 0.695. So his numbers are better, according to Money Puck, than on Evolving Hockey. Uh, and quality starts, 57.1% of the time. So there you go. More than half the time you get a quality start from Thompson. The way that the Capitals have been starting, that's really all they need. Just save 9 out of 10. We'll take care of stuff at the other end. And, uh, yeah, Logan Thompson, number 12. Number 11. For the Vancouver Canucks, it's not Shelov's. Uh, it is Lankinen. Uh, Lankinen right now sitting at goal saved above expected of 2.16. So that drags him down a bit. Uh, now, Money Puck actually has him in the negative of 0 0.046 goal saved above expected per 60. The reason he's still where he's at is because he gives quality starts 72.7% of the time. Uh, his numbers would be dragged down by that game against Edmonton. And so Lankin and definitely drops from where he was the last time I did this, but I'm still putting him at 11th because quality starts, he's still at over 72%. So I'll put him ahead of Thompson, Vasilevsky, and Blackwood. So... Everything good? All right. So far, so good, I think. Uh, number 10 from Minnesota. And, and you know, I'm going to say right now, I'm kind of surprised that Flurry's numbers aren't better, but they're, they're not. I kind of anticipated he might be on the, the, cus or on the, the fringe of this, but not really. So Gustafson, 3.74 goal saved above expected. Uh, 0 0.508 per 60 minutes according to money puck and quality starts yep 72.7 percent of the time for him as well gustafson gives you a good start uh the minnesota wild 10 2 and 3 gustafson a big part of the reason why they're off to the strong start that they are so that column is full let us move over to the other column and in ninth place from the seattle kraken a goaltender who was expected to be the backup but i'm going to go ahead and say with Grubauer giving mediocre numbers so far. Decord's the guy. Uh, 7.62 goals saved above expected. 0 0.652 per 60 minutes. And quality starts 60% of the time. So the overall numbers for Decord are quite strong. The 60% of quality starts uh, ends up slotting him into ninth place. Again, in, in, in my opinion, you guys can let me know your thoughts. But Decord ends up ninth on the overall list. Number eight. And you know, before the season started, I had mentioned that Talbot was, was a good quality goaltender during the regular season. And so far, that's been the case. Uh, for Talbot, 4.19, goal saved above expected. Uh, per 60 minutes, 0 0.860. So again, these numbers may not look the same or like oh do they use different metrics very likely because evolving hockey and money puck have very different numbers uh for talbot uh 71.4 percent of the time you get a quality start from talbot so his quality starts a little bit less than gustafson and lankinen but his goal saved above expected higher than both in terms of overall from evolving hockey and the average per 60 minutes from money puck
So Talbot ends up number eight this week on that list. Number seven, make sure you're grabbing from the right pack or else it's not going to make sense. Um, I've got another pile of magnets here and I keep look, going to grab for it. So number seven is Elias Sorokin. There's a lot of talk last week about Sorokin not being on the list. He just barely missed last, last week. He's on this week. 3.88 goals saved above expected uh, per 60 minutes, 0 0.444. And quality starts 80% of the time. So the 80% quality starts push Sorokin up above the others. Even though if you're looking at the overall numbers, he's a little bit lower than a few of the other guys on the board. So Sorokin ends up number seven this week uh, from the New York Islanders. That should make Islander fans feel a little bit better. Number six, and dropping from where he was the last time I did this, uh, is Igor. So depending on the week, he might be really anxious to get his contract signed. And other weeks, he might be like, no, nah, we'll wait till next week. And with his numbers recently, he might be in that wait till next week's uh, situation. Now his overall goal saved above expected, 10.07 which is excellent. 0 0.533 goal saved above expected per 60 minutes. And you get a quality start 63.6% .6 of the time. So that wage should stare down a little bit. If the quality starts, if that number, if that percentage had been higher, Shesterkin would have been higher in the list than sixth. But he's sixth. And coming off of last night's game against the Jets, uh, are they? yeah, tomorrow they're playing at home against San Jose. Those poor Sharks. Um, it'll probably be Blackwood and Shesterkin. That uh, could be very entertaining because it's two of the top 14 goaltenders in the league, according to the numbers. Uh, number five. For Dallas, Jake Ottinger. All right, so Jake Ottinger, uh, 6.87 goals saved above expected. Uh, per 60 minutes, 0 0.619. And 70% quality starts. So save percentage of 900 or higher, you get that 70% of the time with Ottinger. He's having a pretty good run. Uh, 0 0.619 per 60 minutes. Again, the overall goal saved above expected is lower than Shesterkin's, but his other numbers are better. So I put Ottinger in fifth place. Um, but again, Dallas has been very up and down. The Rangers have been very up and down. Number four on the list... Nashville's goaltender. UC Saros. Uh, for Saros, his overall goal saved above expected, 7.32. Uh, goal saved per 60 minutes, 0 0.419. And 69.2% quality starts. So UC Saros ends up fourth on the list. And... Uh, yeah, rightfully so. Uh, Saros is, has been the reason that Nashville's not completely getting decimated. He's the reason why they've won some games this year, is UC Saros. So he gets the fourth spot. Number three spot on the list. There was some laughter last time out that I had Stolars on the list. I would imagine there might be some this time out as well. Which, fine. But Stolars' numbers are excellent. 10.58 goals saved above expected per 60 minutes, 0 0.559. And quality starts, 81.8% of the time, Stolarz gives you a quality start. So Stolarz has moved up the board. And again, people go, oh, Stolarz, because, you know, Leafs, right? So if it's Leafs, it has to suck. That's just, that's how that works. But Stolarz has been excellent this year for Toronto. So... Uh, again, um, I, I'm, it is interesting because during the summer, I thought Stolarz was a pickup that, that was a really smart one. And I really didn't understand why Lankin was out there without a contract into August and September. And so far, those are two goaltenders that have, have made it onto this board. Uh, but yeah, Stolarz, great goaltender. Toronto was very smart picking him up. And so far, the numbers have been great. So number two on the board. Not going to be a huge surprise to see this guy up here. Now, John Gibson's numbers, very good, but just one game. So we'll go with those style. 13.27 goals saved above expected, uh, 0 0.927 per 60 minutes. So that's a very high number. That means about a goal a game he's allowing above what would be expected. But what weighs him down a bit 
63.6% in terms of quality starts. So, but the overall numbers for Dostal are just too good for me to justify having him any lower than second, even though the quality starts are at 63.6%. So first place on the board, number one this week. And I'm, I'm starting to really enjoy doing this goaltending uh, power rankings, to be honest. It's Connor Hellebuck. So let's look at the numbers for Connor Hellebuck, shall we? 13.52 uh, goals saved above expected. Uh, 0.615 per 60 minutes. Quality starts, 76.9%. So, the highest goal saved above expected, yes. Uh, goal saved above expected per 60 minutes. He's one of the top guys there as well. And quality starts, he's right near the top of the list there too. Connor Hallibuck's had a great start to the season. It is part of the reason that the Winnipeg Jets are so good. It is not the only reason the Jets are so good. And so he gets number one on this week's goaltender power rankings. So there's your top 14. And here's the four guys that people might be most likely to ask me about that are not included in the top 14. Swayman, Bobrovsky, Bennington, and Skinner. Or Spububas. As SBBS doesn't matter. All right, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below as always. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe in the event you may not have done so already. Thank you guys so much for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.